Hey, this is Ronald Jefferson with another topics video. This one is on a physician assisted suicide. And to start off, I want to go with the Wikipedia definition of assisted death. Assisted death, also known as assisted suicide, is death undertaken with the aid of another person. The term usually refers to physician assisted suicide, PAS which is death that is assisted by a physician or other health care provider. Once it is determined that the person's situation qualifies under the assisted suicide laws for that place, the physician's assistance is usually limited to writing a prescription for a lethal dose of drugs. Wow, I didn't know that. This is, about, this is from Prince William Times. Bill to allow physician assisted suicide in Virginia sparks debate. I mean, what do you think about that? I know in the Bible, uh, King Saul asked, I believe, his sword bearer or somebody like that, his squire or something like that, to kill him when he was about to go into the hands of his enemies. And he actually ended up killing himself. And the person he told, or somebody, I believe it was a person he asked to kill him, lied, and said he did kill King Saul, and he was put to death. So, I don't know. I, 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 I know the Bible says if you destroy your own temple, God will destroy you, which I, I believe that's probably the second death, which is a lake of fire. Because if you destroy your own temple, that means you're already out of you're already out of the physical body. But then the Lord says He will destroy you basically again. And there is something called the second death in the Bible, which is the lake of fire. Hell goes to the lake of fire, just to give you you know a little perspective. People go to hell, but even hell goes to the lake of fire, according to the Book of Revelations. Opponents of assisted suicide held a press conference Wednesday to reject legislation that would allow patients with terminal conditions to request a life-ending substance from a physician. While supporters of the proposal say the choice to end one's life is a human right, speakers at the event called the practice unethical. Suicide is incredibly sad, and Dr. Mary Lopez, during a press event held at the Pocahontas building, as a nation, we do not want to see our people killing themselves, unless you're one of those who's so passionate, unless you're one of those who's so passionate, we fight for bills to allow doctors and others to prescribe deadly drugs to their patients. I mean, what if you're like in great pain, is what I would think about that. Like, what if you're in grave pain? You know, but like there's been people for since the beginning of the time who've been in grave pain who have not killed themselves. So my mom died of cancer. She fought it for five years and went through a lot of pain and she didn't kill herself. So a lot of people go through pain and don't go through horrible things and don't kill themselves. So I don't know if this is right. Lopez is the executive director of the Independence Empowerment Center. Uh... Manassas nonprofit dedicated to providing options for people with disabilities. She was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1992, and she spoke with others in opposition to House Bill 1649. The bill, sponsored by DEL Kaya Corey, the Democrat in the 38th District, I believe, of Falls Church would allow adults with terminal conditions that will result in death within six months to request from a health care provider a self-administered controlled substance for the purpose of ending the patient's life. Such a request would need to be made twice orally by the patient, along with a statement signed by the patient and a witness. <laughs> you know, I can see a lot of atheists and people who don't believe in God doing something like that. I really do. I see a lot of people who don't believe in, who don't have a spiritual, any any type of spiritual faith, doing something like that, because in Christian suffering is a part of Christianity. Suffering glorifies God. That's why a lot of Christians were in a bad position in life. Real Christians, you know, a lot of people claim Christ, but they're living in mansions and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I, I believe you can be fortunate and have Christ, but. I, be, I believe whatever you get on earth, you're forsaken treasure in heaven. 
The Lord says, how hardly will he give you consolidation in this world and the next? Meaning, he's not going to bless you in both lives. Either you're going you're gonna to be Jay-Z here, or you're going to be Jay-Z in heaven for eternity or temporarily. So, Kristen Hansen, a community relations advocate for P Patients' Rights Action Fund, spoke first. Her organization is a nonprofit which aims to oppose efforts to make suicide a legal medical treatment option, according to the group's website. They're not going to stop that. I believe that's going to be. Because it helps the depopulation, too. It does. It saves resources. So, I think... I believe in a satanic agenda. I do believe this will be a federal thing. Maybe within the next 10 to 20 years. You can't. You, you'll be able to kill yourself. Probably if you, without even the stipulations they're including with this bill. Even if you just want to. You're 20. You want to die. Hey, ask the doctor. He'll give you some pills that will just knock you out. You'll just you know go to sleep and never wake up. She said her husband, JJ, lived three and a half years after doctors diagnosed him with terminal brain cancer. If assisted suicide had been legal at the time of JJ's diagnosis, Hanson and her husband would have assessed a life ending substance during his darkest days. Uh oh. Thankfully, JJ didn't end his life, Hanson said in her statement, but if he had suicide pills with him, he, had, he, might, he said he might have taken them, and you can't undo that. There's no going back. I know it. Hansen said allowing suicide as a medical treatment could subject families to government pressure and the decisions of insurance companies. I know it. And the state sh should improve other should improve other health care options instead. Dr. Tom Epis, a 40-year-old family practitioner from Lynchburg, said pain medication and hospice care are good alternatives. Yeah, that's what my mom did that, exactly that. Pain meds and hospice until she died. He spoke on behalf of the Medical Society of Virginia, of which he is a former president. Epis criticized the bill, saying assisted suicides are impossible to study and not always successful. He said it stretches credibility to ask that physicians and nurse practitioners as the bill proposes be able to make such a judgment oh you're not even thinking about those people living with that now make them kind of a murderer predicting death is not easy epic said six months to live would include conditions such as untreated type 1 diabetes he also Criticize a policy outlined in the bill that would prohibit death certificates for patients who receive the treatment from listing suicide or homicide as the cause of death, saying it would allow false reporting. And I'm going to stop there. This is from PrinceWilliamNews.com. What do you think about a physician assisted suicide? I know it is legal in some countries, you know. I haven't really heard much about it, but I don't want that. I don't, cause I I know it's what it's going to lead to, and it's not going to have those stipulations. If you want to kill yourself, they're going to let you do it to save on resources, <laughs> to depopulate. You know that's the agenda. So, this is Ronald Jefferson. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.